Oh, what a lovely start to the Sunday vlog. Bertie, Bertie, Bertie. He's brought a dead mouse in. But... Today has been... Absolutely awful. Today has been pretty whack because I went out last night, right? To town, you know, drinking, da 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 It was like my birthday thing. Got back at the dreaded 3.30, 4am, which isn't too bad. But oh my god, when I woke up this morning, did I have an absolute headache. It killed me. It's half seven in the evening, only just starting the vlog. It was a, uh, it was a good night, but the fact that this morning I couldn't function, so I went for a run, that seemed to sweat out the headache. The ULR, the ultimate live streaming room table, is starting to look- Well, it's starting to look pretty packed up with stuff. I bought this lamp here to the office. Now here's the story. Back when I was building this office at the start of 2016, I bought one, two, three of these lights. Five arrived. I didn't pay for them. I'm using one at home in the server room that's not a server room, and I bought one to the office for the live streaming room. That worked out in our favor. I've also still got this Edifier MP700 Bluetooth speaker. They go for about 150 pounds here in the UK. I don't want it. So if any of you guys are interested in that and you want to win it, then drop a like rating and put a funny joke in the comments. Uh, your worst joke. A joke that's funny because it's not funny. So what I thought I'd do is give you guys a little bit, or, or let you in, into a little bit of a secret. This is just for you guys on, on the vlog channel. So this means I need to pick up this pen and let you guys in on the secret. Now you guys know this is going to be the ultimate live streaming room. And I've already told you guys that the streams might not be ultimate, but the room, the room should be ultimate. It should have everything in it a live streamer needs. Let me tell you how this streaming room is going to work. And the reason why I want to tell you guys is because my plan may be flawed. And if there's any flaws in it, I need you guys to tell me. So, let's get to it, shall we? So there you go, now you know the secrets. Camera one, HDMI. Camera two, HDMI. HDMI to PCs, Ethernet for the TV, LED controller for LEDs around the TV, power for the TV, optical for the soundbar, one power for the soundbar, one optical plus Ethernet for the soundbar. PC power, Ethernet, HDMI to the TV. Xbox goes here, PlayStation goes here. They both need Ethernet to Elgato, HDMI and power. Power, HDMI and Ethernet. The reason why this is a big deal is because this is giving away, this video right now, all the secrets that I've had in mind. I'm gonna have two different camera angles. Camera one HDMI, camera two HDMI. They're not gonna be webcams, they're gonna be proper cameras like this one with an HDMI out. It's gonna plug into the wall there and the wall there that's gonna lead round to the computer, the streaming computer. There's gonna be two computers. One that's gonna go there that runs games and one that's gonna go just about here to run the stream. There's gonna be an Xbox One here, a PlayStation 4 there. The consoles need Ethernet for internet, the Elgato HDMI to go into the Elgato and power. That is it. And I'm gonna have a big cut out there with all the cables coming in to go into the capture cards and Ethernet for the computers and everything. That's the plan, that's the big secret. I've dabbled with different ideas, but I think that what I've just explained is the perfect thing to do. Streamers though, please, I need your help. If you have any tips or any of you know anything about if I'm gonna do something wrong here, please let me know down in the comments. I'm a newbie to all of this. I'm trying my hardest. No one's been in my house literally all day, so I'm going to make myself a barbecue and be a loner. But for now, let me click my fingers and show you the absolutely incredible sunset that I've just filmed on the drone that's literally right above me right now. Yeah, it looks fairly amazing. 
So guys, I finished my barbecue and well I was just sat out here and it just all of a sudden got really dark. I was just sat scrolling Twitter on my phone so I put a tweet out after I'd finished my barbecue saying saying should I do a little Twitter Q&A because I haven't done like a Q&A in a while. So it's quite nice out here, we've got the lights over there, trees lit up, you've got the sound of the pond. I just dropped my phone on the floor, didn't I? So I load up Twitter, and here it goes. There is literally hundreds. Louis says, when are you gonna start live streaming? Well, Louis, I'm gonna start live streaming as soon as the room is built. I've always been pondering on the fact of doing live streams from my room. I can, I can do that, and I may do, if this is gonna take longer than I thought. It's a big project that I've got going on here, you know, building this attic space. As you guys can see, I'm trying to take it really slow and get everything perfect. Emmett says, what lens do you use for your vlog? This lens is the Sony 16 to 35 millimeter, F4.0. Callum says, how did you do in school? Not very well. Martin says, how do you stay motivated even when things go down? This is a really awesome question and one that I get a lot on social media, right? You guys ask me, Alex, how do you stay motivated when, when, when bad times crop up or, you know, if something bad happens, how do you stay motivated? How do you get through it? And what I do is I say to myself, life is a timeline. And I paint out my timeline from, let's say, zero to 100 if my life expectancy is 100 years, right? It's not, but that's theoretical. I could die tomorrow, who knows? And what I do is that timeline, I've got a green paintbrush and a red paintbrush. I wanna get that green paintbrush and I wanna paint the entire timeline green, right? With me being happy and staying motivated, right? I have the choice of what paintbrush I have in my hand. And if I'm feeling down, I can pick that red paintbrush up and paint the timeline red, right? But that's my choice and I don't want to do that. I want to end with it all being green. So if ever I'm feeling down, and yes, I do quite often, I just try and say that in my head. Luke says, AMD or NVIDIA? NVIDIA. Dan Boy says, have you finished uni? If not, will you ever consider going back? Dan, I never went to uni, and I'm never gonna go to uni. Uh, never. Johnny says, do you plan to return to school? Why would I do that? Youthful G says, would you ever consider making Mars bar posters? Maybe. Probably not, but but maybe. Apparel, new apparel coming soon though. Not, maybe not posters. I don't know what I'd put on the posters. I'd feel like having a poster of me and selling that would be a little bit weird. Miles says, dream car, question mark. And unfortunately, I don't have a dream car. I have lots of cars that I like, but I don't have a dream car. Someone almost crashed into me today though, and I had to uh, beat them, it really scared me. Jacob says, could you make a networking video on TechFlow? Already have, new one to come soon though. Hi boy, is it a real Louis Vuitton Apple Watch strap? By the way, love your videos. Yeah. Yeah, it's real, I don't buy fake things. Don't you just sort of love it, you know, when you're outside doing a Twitter Q&A and, uh, you drop the phone and it kind of, uh... One more question that I saw that I wanted to answer back up here was, Alex, what's your best home automation thing that you own? Definitely Alexa paired with Philips Hue. Alexa, set all the lights to blue. Okay. <laughs> Mad. Baby, we are all creative. I don't care what job you have or who you are. We are all innately creative as we are all human beings. Living creatively means being authentic to yourself. These are wicked. You guys, you honestly... <gasps> oh. That is just the best thing I've <coughs> Dear Alex Brooks, my name is Connor Rees and I'm the sole creator of 99% Lifestyle magazine. 99% Lifestyle is a lifestyle magazine that focuses on creativity and travel, inspiring people to be more creative and make their own travel adventures. Well, Connor, I love what you do and as long as you do too, Keep pushing on. Just goes to show absolutely anything, absolutely anything can happen when you put your mind to it. I'm so